Hello everyone, Jeff from respawnstudios.com, back with another Lego Harry Potter Years 5-7 to 7 video. And I know I've already made every other kind of video in the world except this, but we're going to give this a try. Um, first, here's a little code, if you'd like to put this in. You just hit start, go to enter code under extras. And I've already done that for a bunch of codes, which you could find in my um, text guide, which is on easyxbox360achievements.com. And you just turn all of these on. It makes the game a lot easier. Um, but anyway, this is going to be the first level of the game. And this is going to be my commentated walkthrough. Um, so if you have any interest, I know a lot of these are already out there. I've already made tons of other videos for the collectibles. I've never actually done a walkthrough of the game itself. So I don't know if anyone has any interest still in these. So please let me know either by liking the video or comment. Um, commenting, <laughs> yes, commenting uh, below if you want to see another little guide. Um, so if you don't enter the code, you can't use the strong pole on that first gate, but I had entered the code so Harry could use it, otherwise Dudley has to use the strong pole. I'm just going to be Harry the whole, whole time. Another strong pole, strong pole. Alright, now at this little section you're going to have to aim a spell up and knock down these two shopping carts that have pieces in them. And if anyone watched any of my uh, collectibles videos, you might know how horrible I am <laughs> at constructing these pieces. You're supposed to make like these good looking walkways to get up to the top, but I'm so bad with placing them, so I just put them, that's probably the best one you're ever going to see out of me. Uh, you just have to make um, it so you can jump up top. And now you um, you actually don't have to fight off any of the Dementors. The first time I did this, I I think I got like 40 to 50 and I was just still going. I was like, why is this part not ending? Uh, you just have to let Dudley get hit <laughs> by one of the Dementors to advance. So you might as well just not even shoot. Uh, expect to patron him. Alright, now skipping ahead after the cutscene, you just have this little sequence. There's nothing really to point out here. Um, you can move to the right or left to get the uh, blue or sometimes purple studs, which give you a lot. <laughs> so, they're worth picking up. And you see I have score multipliers of 6, 8, and 10 on. So I get times 480, the value of each individual stud, which is helpful. There's also a times 2 and a times 4. And they stack, so if you have all of them, I think you get like times 3,840 for every stud. So that's pretty sweet. And I have red brick guides up again on the channel if you want to check them out. Alright, now after that next little cutscene, we are in this area by a fountain. You have to save the three other uh, members of the Order of the Phoenix who have all apparently crashed <laughs> and got stuck. Um, so this first one, you just have to use Wingardium Leviosa to put these two purple pieces. As you can see, I'm absolutely terrible at trying to do this. <laughs> um, and you just put them on the two edges. It's very straightforward. And you free the first character. Alright, now for the second character, you're going to have to use Wingardium Leviosa again, when you know it. Um, and put together a little cart. I think there's four pieces. You have to put the front on, and then a piece on top of the main structure, and then another piece on top of that. And you save the second character. And then you're going to have to be Kingsley, because he's the only one that has the spell at this point. And he's going to have to hit this cabinet over here. And then Wingardium Leviosa to create a hammer or chisel. And you're going to have to then use Wingardium Maviosa, bring it up here, and it knocks this debris and saves the last member. And then you just simply come back over to the fountain, and as Harry or Kingsley, it doesn't matter, uh, you just hold down B and keep holding it down so you turn this piece of the fountain, because everyone has to be turning their own. And the AI partner will come over and turn the other one, and that's it. Now, um, for some reason, that popped out <laughs> Mad-Eye Moody's cane, so you're going to have to pick it up, and I don't know why he can't simply have walked around the fountain a little bit, limped around to get his own cane, but there we go. Nice little gesture, we gave him his own cane. 
All right, and now you just have to be mad eye. You come over here to the obviously where you have to go area because it's blinking. Uh, the big red flames, and you just hit B. All right, and now this is the next little gameplay section of the level after another cutscene. You're going to have to change to Mr. Weasley because you have to use his unique ability, which is to repair items. You come over to this cart and you hold down B. You just have to keep holding it down. You'll know when it's done because those studs will pop out. And then it just does it on its own. It scrubs out this fireplace. And then you could use the fire, the flu network, to go just a couple fly flyer. <laughs> I am a fan of the Philadelphia Flyers. Um, the a couple of fireplaces down. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been able to advance because there are signs blocking the way that you apparently can't walk around or through. All right, now in this area, you're going to have to first use Wingardium Leviosa on the red um, little turn wheel here. And that's going to give us a few pieces of letters. We're going to have to make a big letter to um, distract a guard to open the door. Now that we've put them together with Wingardium Leviosa, you just use this spell again to pick it up, and it's on its journey to hit the guard in the back of the head. <laughs> and that gets him to open the door. Um, and I just go back here because there's tons of studs up at the top of this fountain. You just have to jump on the rim of the, the edge of the fountain and then to the second tier. And then that third tier, right where the gold statues are, there's a few um, blue studs and one purple, which is, I think, even five times the value of a blue. So it's very good. Um, there is an achievement to get a billion studs. So working our way toward that. All right, now you're going to have to be Mr. Weasley again. And he's going to repair this door. So it could fall down and break. <laughs> um, and now in that area that he just opened, you have to use Wingardium Leviosa, shake open this briefcase, and we're going to get the item to give to this wizard, which he will then make use of. And we will get pieces that we, again, will have to use Wingardium Leviosa to put together. And then we put them in the elevator, and that is the end of the first level. So not too difficult, pretty self-explanatory. But again, I know I'm late to the party with walkthroughs. I did a lot of the other kind of videos for this game. But if anyone out there did get anything out of this, <laughs> and you would like to see um, walkthroughs of any of the other levels, please let me know, and I can continue this series. Otherwise, this might just be my own, uh, the only little walkthrough I do. So, again, please let me know by commenting, liking the video, sending me a message, however you want to get it across. <laughs> um, if you just want to comment and say, we don't need this, <laughs> whatever you like to do. But I hope that helped, and thank you for watching, and I will see you for more videos shortly.